just in case the sound is bad and I don't know fresh. So one second to see who all is here so I can do it. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. I hope everybody is doing well and I hope the sound is good. <laughs> hope the picture is good. Hopefully we're not struggling too, too much. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> For anybody new here, hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my struggle cooking class. <laughs> We've got Garrett Von Dale. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to move over from IG to YouTube or Facebook, you can see the uh, side by side. Thank you so much, Mona. I think I figured out uh, what I need to do is just start with a refresh in more ways than one. But I saw Mona in the house. I saw Dirty Diana Sanchez in the house. I saw Diary of Bell Rose in the house. Uh, let me know if anybody else is here, if you want to be counted present. If you just want to ninja watch, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Um, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Thursday. I hope you all are doing well. I'm just checking, making it brief. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, so I'm just going to make a quick dinner for the boys. I always say it's quick, but who knows? We'll be on for a couple of hours. Um, but I'm going to be traveling next week. And of course, I'll be taking you guys with me. I'll be going to the great state of Philadelphia, um, kind of a work um, end of year meeting that I'm also using as a momcation. So the boys will be with their dad. Hallelujah. Monday through Friday, I will be <laughs> in a hotel somewhere alone. Okay, I'm not that excited. So um, I'm not really doing a lot of groceries because, you know, I'm gonna be gone for a while and I don't want anything to go bad. Um, I am running the dishwasher, so hopefully you guys can hear okay. I feel like I want a beverage. So I was just kind of scrounging around to see what I had uh, that I could make for the kids tonight. Uh, I am a boy mom times two. We have two teenage sons. 13 and 15, um, and everything that goes along with that. But uh, I just thought maybe I'd make something simple, some pizzas, some flatbread pizzas. I always think, oh, you know, it's kind of like everybody knows this, but you know, sometimes people don't know. So I just want to show uh, you guys how I put together like a simple, uh, I'm going to do two versions. I'm going to do a barbecue chicken pizza with simple ingredients, and then I'm also going to do a standard pepperoni and mushroom pizza. Oh, Mona. Not Mona, Diana. I'm so sorry. Oh, I used to have ear infections all the time when I was little. I've outgrown them, but I know it's pain like nothing else. I hope you get well soon, my dear. And I'll try and, uh, I don't know, what can I do? I was going to say I'll try and talk softer, but <sighs> thank you so much for being here. All right, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you've ever been to California Pizza Kitchen, it's a chain restaurant. We have them here in Atlanta. I'm sure they're in most, well, a lot of malls and some standalone places, but they have a huge menu of kind of eclectic pizzas and big salads, and I think they're pretty tasty. And uh, I made a version for myself, like a sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free version. Um, so the California Pizza Kitchen signature pizza is a barbecue chicken pizza, meaning they use pizza crust. You can also get it gluten-free, um, but we're gonna use flatbread. Let me see if our side-by-side -side is working. Yes. All right, so again, just scrounging the fridge. I don't know if you guys have ever had these before. If you eat Indian food, then you are familiar with naan. It is a flatbread that is very common in uh, Indian cuisine right out of the oven with butter. It's so good. I love Indian food. Um, hello, we got Victoria here, one of the masterminders. Thank you for being here, my dear uh, fellow East African. I am your West African connection. Y'all know I'm from Ghana, but we're always representing the continent uh, and also the South and also the States. Uh, Victoria, please let us know the name of your channel and what we can find there. Mona, please let us know the name of your channel and what we can find there. If anybody is here with a YouTube channel, you're here to support me, so I want to support you. So please let us know the name of your channel and what you can find. Thank you for saying that. 
I really appreciate that for a variety of reasons, but I just accept the compliment. Thank you. But um, I'll share a little bit with you guys. Hi, Monarch Travel. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to join us either on Facebook or YouTube, you can see the side by side. But, um, you know, my voice is my voice. We all have the voice that we have. Some people like it. Some people don't. Namely, Swim Shady, my oldest, the 50-year-old said he does not like the sound of my voice. So I'm dealing with those teenage years whenever I say, Marcus, don't forget to pack her. I know already. And even in the car coming home from school today, he was like, why do you always sound like you're giving a business presentation? Oh, these kids, they won't let me be great. They'll be gone one of these days. Um, but funnily enough, you know, I have shared with you all, I've done a lot of work in personal development. Uh, and I know I joke about it, but I've completed several etiquette and elegance courses. And one of the things that I've had to work on is my voice. <laughs> Shout out to the Africans. Um, you all see my silly side and I can get loud and I can get uh, a little emotive. Um, and I have learned that an elegant woman is not rushed, got to work on that. And an elegant woman is not shouting when she speaks. So I worked very hard on that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we got the notorious Kevin Brooks here uh, listening in. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we'll have a, a bite of pizza for you. Uh, another masterminder, if you've got a channel up and ready, let us know. I don't know TNKB Victoria. If I'm supposed to know that, I don't. Y'all know I'm old. So let us know if I'm supposed to know. Maybe you're just having a conversation. Um, but I did have a little announcement, you guys, and I lost it when I refreshed. But uh, it looks like everybody that I can tell is watching me on YouTube and Instagram. But our channel is growing. Y'all, Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only eight months old. And in case you didn't know, you always hear me when I um, sign off, I say like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram classes dismissed, right? Because I'm your substitute teacher and you all are in my struggle cooking class. However, uh, today when I opened Facebook, I got a notification that said, I took a screenshot of it, your channel is being noticed let me find it, you guys. Basically, here's the punchline. If you're watching me on Facebook, you can send stars. I have no idea what that means, and I have no idea what that works, but you can support the channel on Facebook now. So just really excited about that. So if you guys see a comment, if you're ever watching on Facebook, you can send stars now during the live stream or even afterwards. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll show you guys. <clears throat> Those of you that are in the mastermind, I'll talk more about it tonight, but you all have been with me on my journey. And, um, you know, I share with you, like I said, my channel is only eight months old and y'all know I'm a proud student of lead attorney and I have completed his YouTube live streaming course and even made my own as far as how to get monetized on YouTube. There's a step-by-step -step process and clearly I've done that. But honestly, I didn't know how it works on Facebook. Chelsea, you're here. I'm not going to ask you to be the guinea pig. That would be rude. But if you could let me know, Chelsea, this is what I saw today when I logged into Facebook. Oh. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, is it? Oh my God. Not already. Already. All right, y'all, y'all know the kids are home on their devices. We'll see how it goes. If I need to go confiscate, I will. But i just like to share with you guys, some of you all have YouTube channels. We're gonna get to the cooking in just a second. But when I opened Facebook today, this is what I saw. Get paid for your content. Your content is getting a lot of attention. Try professional mode to start earning money for it. 
And so I went through the steps and I, you know, got started and it basically says, you know, you add your tax info and then it said this right here, you can now use stars. And so literally I just saw that for the first time today. So I guess Chelsea, if you're able to hear, since you're watching on Facebook, do you see somewhere? Oh no, no sound. Can y'all not hear me? Uh Oh, sound or no sound. <sighs> I want to make sure that it's not just, Oh, okay. Thank you. So Leanne knows. So one star is 99 cents. It's basically a tip. Okay. So Leanne, you're watching on Facebook. Mona can hear. Okay. Wonderful. So you all, I use this software called Restream. Thank you, Victoria. I'm always nervous, y'all. When one person says it's not working, I'm going to wait for someone else to chime in uh, just to confirm. Because this software that I use, obviously, is just one of me. And then it broadcasts to multiple platforms. But I just thought I'd share that with you all. If Leanne or Chelsea can look on the stream, do you see anything that says send stars? I'm not asking you to send stars, but I just want to know what your experience is. But that's what happened today. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. So our channel is growing. Thank you, scholars, for um, making that happen. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Kevin has a channel called The Notorious Kevin Brooks. That's his YouTube handle. I have a star button. Okay, so did Chelsea send stars? I didn't see anything. Okay, this is actually very helpful. Thank you for doing that. So I didn't see anything come through yet. So what I'll do is I'll go back and watch the replay and see what it looks like and see if I need to do anything different. Um, I do see like, you know what we're gonna do? Sorry, I don't wanna be the little guinea pig, but I'm wondering if, um, oh, I don't want to go through it right now, but uh, I'll go back and look at the replay. <laughs> we got Monarch Travel and Entertainment. Is that your uh, YouTube channel? We've got a, tra looks like a travel agent. So thank you for sharing. Let us know what we can find on your channel. And Victoria has used it before. So bottom line, thank you all for helping me uh, grow number one and then thank you to the Facebook family for letting me know I have a star button I just got notification today uh, and I went and turned it on but I don't know anything about how it works so thank you Chelsea we now have a stream sponsor I don't know how many stars but I'm just gonna put your name up on the struggle stream microwave So thank you so much, Chelsea, for the stars. I don't know anything about it, but I appreciate it. So Chelsea is our stream sponsor and I have a little star there for you guys. So as my channel grows, I'll share what happens with you all because uh, you guys have you know, been here while I'm still baby channel. Oh, Chelsea sent the 99 cents. Thank you for the 99 cents. Okay. So for now, I don't see stars come through, but Chelsea has confirmed that it works. So if you send me stars and you're watching on Facebook, just let me know so I can update um, and I'll find out what else I need to do. But let's get cooking for the kids. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. All right, so we were talking about California Pizza Kitchen. So their signature pizza is a barbecue chicken pizza. So they use a pizza crust. You can get gluten-free. Oh, but we were talking about these. These are the non-flatbread. You can use them in a variety of ways. You can just toast them and tear them. Uh, Indian food, they dip in the curries with the flatbread. You can see in the picture here, you can warm them and use them as a sandwich wrap. Tonight, I'm going to use these as a pizza crust. This is the small size, but you can also get the large size. Um, and I think they're great. I used to... This is not for me. I love hot buttered bread, but this is going to be for the kids. So this is a four pack. Um, so for the California, California Pizza Kitchen, they use barbecue sauce instead of pizza sauce for the base. 
I don't think I have regular barbecue sauce. I'll check, but I don't think the boys will be able to tell. This is what I've done with beverages and condiments. I just made some changes. So when the boys look for barbecue sauce, they end up getting a sugar-free one. So if I don't have regular like sweet baby rays for them, I'm just gonna use this uh, G Hughes barbecue sauce as the base. And then they put chicken on the pizza. And I'm sure it's some wonderfully marinated like chicken, um, strips or slices. I don't have that, but I do have This is just chunk chicken breasts from Walmart. I like keeping these in the can. You've seen me put them in soups. You can drain them and put them on a salad. For this pizza, I'm gonna drain them and toss them in the barbecue sauce so they can get a little bit coated with barbecue sauce in a pinch. Um, again, I'm traveling, so I don't wanna buy groceries that are gonna go bad, so I'm just using what I have on hand. And then the last two ingredients uh, on the California Pizza Kitchen is red onion. So I found one in the oven, in the oven, in the fridge that's already kind of cut up. So we'll dice that. There's a mushroom in there too. Uh, and then cilantro. I do have some fresh cilantro that's starting to go a little bit sad. So we'll get some fresh pieces of cilantro. I know it sounds crazy. And then of course melted cheese, but it is incredible. I made a substitute version we have a new stream sponsor, y'all. Super Chats, come to the front of the class. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at Dirty Diana Sanchez. And thank you for calling out the Maggie memberships. I do have memberships, uh, you all. If you're on YouTube and you go to the Members tab, I believe, or click the Join button, there are four tiers. So I will just uh, repeat them here. But first, let me say, Dirty Diana, I think you found me from that dude named Dave. Uh, who's also part of the mastermind. Thank you so much for the $20 super chat. I haven't even started yet. Um, but you all encourage me to keep going because you know it can be crazy. Um, but yes, for the memberships, I have four levels, $5, $10, $25, $50. The $5 level you get advanced notice and behind the scenes posts that I share there, um, as well as of course, you know, an emblem uh, by your name. And I think, I can't remember, but you get some advanced uh, behind the scenes stuff there. On the $10 level, uh, cause I need to schedule one. We have members only live streams. Um, I wanna have one before the holidays cause I've got some stuff planned. Um, in addition to everything on the $5 level, on the $25 level, you get, I think, a consultation with me um, and everything on the $10 and $5 levels, a private one-on-one -on -one consultation. And then on the $50 level, we basically feature you for the whole stream. So you come up, you can request me to make any meal, and I will make it per your direction just for you plus everything on the $25 level and the uh, um, 10 and five. And uh, also like the course that I have, um, you have special playlists back there. Uh, you all know I was monetized in four months. And so I just like to give those of you who uh, go above and beyond a little bit extra, a little bit more of Maggie, but thank you all for just being here and showing up. It helps the channel to grow. I'm so incredibly grateful. So I'm gonna change the board for Dirty Diana. Chelsea is saying, uh, I made pizza flatbread the other day called Flat Out. It was yummy, but bad. So it tasted good, but the, the pizza didn't turn out good. Eh, still kind of a win, as long as you're cooking for yourself, right? You know, we cook for other, we have a co-sponsor. <laughs> Y'all, okay. Thank you, the notorious Kevin Brooks for the $20 super chat. Let me get to the board. Thank you, Chelsea, for the stars. But let me update. We have two new co-sponsors. <laughs> ah. 
So thank you so much, Kevin. I appreciate you always supporting. Wow. Padilla's in the house. Hello, my dear. Thank you for being here. All right. So we got Diana and Kevin, two co-sponsors. I don't have a lot of real estate, y'all, but, and Kevin, I know you're driving, but on the microwave, we have stream, I need to say co-sponsors, Kevin and Diana. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the $20 super chat. Okay, class, so we talked about the pizzas. I'm gonna do two um, barbecue, uh, and then I'm gonna do two regular. So let's get prepping and then assemble. Pizza night can be a great family meal as well. Uh, everybody's picky. You can just have the ingredients out and let people build their own. So um, let me wash my hands, get the cutting board out. Let's get everything prepped and then we will assemble. And I probably should turn on the oven because we're gonna cook all at the same time, which means I probably should empty the oven because y'all know I use it for storage. Let me get a beverage and we're gonna go, go ahead and get started. Diana says, pretty sure, pretty soon I'm going to need a new screen. You mean my struggle microwave? I know. No, it's not a struggle microwave. Thank you, Mr. Option One, for the brand new Samsung appliances. But y'all know I can't like type and cook and can't do it all. All right, so I'm just gonna pop a can. This is the Walmart Black Cherry Sparkling Water, the Clear American brand. So I'm just gonna stick a straw in this so I have a beverage. They have all the different flavors. You guys have probably seen them in the one liter bottles. I'm not a big soda drinker, but if you are, uh, sparkling water could be a step down. You could go from full soda, maybe to diet soda or zero sugar soda to sparkling water to still water. So. but I like this. That flavor is black cherry. Okay, so let me wash my hands and get the cutting board. I don't think I'll do an apron today. When I have my vest on, I feel like it's um, a little bit extra bulk, but this is the outfit of the day today. I was gonna do a little um, outfit of the day of uh, active mom attire. Y'all know me from the carpool to the kitchen, right? All right, and thank you so much for being here. I love cooking for y'all. Oh, Chelsea says you love non bread, but you can't have it either. I know, my dear, tell me about it. Let's go ahead and get that on the baking sheet. pan I was looking for. Sorry, y'all. All right, so I'm going to line. This is just in a regular standard baking sheet. I'm going to put parchment paper on this. Finally, using the full size. This came from Kroger. You can get parchment paper on the roll. You all saw me use that, I believe, yesterday. But you can also buy these pre-cut sheets. Ooh, look who's here. Monarch Travel, or I think I'm saying it wrong. Monarch Travel specializes in all-inclusive packages to Mexico, Caribbean, and all over the world. So if you guys are itching to travel, y'all know I love to travel. Check them out on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so I put a sheet of parchment paper in the uh, tray here. Parchment paper has been treated with silicone, so it's non-stick. So when you're doing anything baking, uh, parchment paper is good for that. Honestly, I like putting pizza like on a pizza stone. I think I have one, but I'm not gonna look for it right now. We'll do this a hundred times again. All right, so in case anybody's not familiar, 
So flat bread kind of puffs up and bubbles up when you cook it. You can see they're small, about the size of my hand. So this is like a nice little mini pizza size. Um, so I'm making these for the boys. So we'll do two barbecue chicken and two regular. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for now so we can prep our veggies. So we just got to chop up red onion and a little bit of cilantro. Since there's a mushroom here, I'll probably go ahead and use that too. I do have some jarred mushrooms uh, trying to empty out the fridge before I travel. So I didn't pre-record anything this time. If you all want to keep up with me when I'm in Philly, I plan to go live maybe every night from my hotel room. I've got work stuff and then team meetings in the evening. So stay tuned. Please subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Watch for my community tab and um, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. Um, I will be posting for you guys. I'll be gone Monday through Friday. The boys will be with their dad. Hallelujah. All right. All right, so on this California Pizza Kitchen, if you've ever had it, you don't really need a lot of red onion, so I'm just gonna kind of take off the tips here. Red onion, I really like it, especially if you don't really, if you don't like really strong onion flavor. Red onion is the only one that I can eat raw. I'm just taking off the top layer of skin. It's great on a burger. Oh, I need to take more than just a top layer. It's great on a burger, in salads, Y'all can see, I just want to make sure we get the nice purpley part. But you can also saute this down, put it in an omelet or whatever. All right, let me just wash up again. Clean my knife. Okay. So when I'm cutting um, the onion, Depending on how you're going to use it will determine how you're going to cut it. So if you notice on the onion, it already has, sorry, I'm trying to get in the middle for you. You notice it already has some kind of natural striations, which are the lines here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go straight down. And because it's already got those natural lines in it, it'll just kind of come apart easily on the, the line. So you don't have to have really great knife skills if you do even better. But for this pizza, they do the chicken, which I need to go ahead and do that. The chicken, and then just some like slivers of onion. See how it just kind of falls apart easily? That's all you really need. Okay. Um, if you don't have red onion, you could probably use a shallot. Um, you could probably use a green onion. I don't know, a yellow onion or white onion might be a little strong, um, but give it a try. I know it sounds crazy, but the flavors come together so well. Dirty Diana says that's all you use is red onions. Awesome. Tell us what you do with your red onions. How else have you found to use them? And I'm just going to put my uh, toppings along here. So you could go ahead and chop the whole onion. I'm not going to, but you could as part of your meal prep, you know, like we've done, we've shredded our cheese. We have our red onion. That way, if you're doing a salad or a soup or whatever, you just have these in containers in the fridge. You can just grab and go. That's something you can do on the weekend. Hi, Damone. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome to join us over on Facebook or YouTube. All right. So we've got our red onion. We'll see if we want fresh mushroom or... The boys like mushrooms and I found this in the fridge. This is the Green Giant already canned sliced mushroom or you could use fresh too. That's gonna to be on the regular pizza. All right, and then all else I gotta do is the cilantro. I could eat this stuff every day. All right, so it's starting to look a little bit sad. 
I always get cilantro and parsley kind of mixed up. So I just check the label to make sure I actually have cilantro. You either love it or you don't. It's got a very bright and I don't know, almost citrusy. Oh, I love it. To me, parsley is very grassy. You don't need this much cilantro at all, but I'm going to chop it up anyway. And you can also get dried cilantro. Fresh is best if you can get it. Y'all know I'm not the food police. Use what you have. But um, when we did our foods with no carbs and no sugar, the Ryan, I think it was Ryan. I don't want to get his name wrong, but it was Ryan. Um, fresh herbs are a great way to add flavor without the calories. So I wish you all could smell the fresh cilantro. And then when you tear it or when you uh, chop it up, it releases even more of that, in my opinion, incredible aroma. Okay, so when you have herbs like this that are just kind of like all over the place, I kind of like bunch them together. Sometimes like if it's basil, they'll roll them into, them, into themselves, kind of like a leaf like that. And then once you kind of get them bunched up, you can just chop that way. So I'll just go <laughs> keep the fingers out of the way. Use your knuckles as a guide. It's just kind of do a rough chop. doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'll run the blade through them again. Ooh, Diana puts red onion in her soup, her salads, and you add to your Puerto Rican secret weapon, sofrito. Oh, that's a fun, fun word to say, isn't it? So sofrito, is that the... Um, you know, like the base that every cuisine, I think, what is it? Italians, isn't it like celery, onion, and carrot or something like that? Or maybe that's the French or Cajun. My mom, all of her soups and stews for African cooking is like tomato, ginger, and garlic. Ah, Diana says red onion is great with mushrooms. That sounds good. Oh my gosh, y'all, when we made the veggie pizza tortilla, that jazz leaf uh, is coming. The celebrity chef whose recipe I made and tagged her and she's coming next month. It was a vegetarian version using red onion and mushroom, saute in the pan with a little bit of oil or butter just for five minutes to get them soft. That might be a good omelet tomorrow. All right, so we've got our cilantro kind of roughly chopped and then I'm just gonna run the blade through it in a rocking motion. When I taught the boys how to cook, both of them know how to cook. So if I'm not here, they will not starve, believe me. They just say it tastes better when you do it, mom. I don't mind. It is a labor of love. So I just go back through it to get it nice and cut up. A couple big pieces. Cilantro is good. I wish you all could smell. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the mushroom and see if I have enough. Oh yes, Diana said yes, I got it right. Awesome, all right. Let me drain the mushroom. So you can get canned mushrooms, like even in your dollar store, this is a good veggie to toss in soups. Um, we're gonna put it on pizza, but if you can get fresh, that's great. But I know we have a lot of people who travel, whether you're a travel nurse or military, uh, Kevin's on the road right now. Um, you can find ingredients that will work even in some of the, you know, little stores that aren't like full grocery stores. Okay. Now for cheese, I should have like a proper mozzarella. I've got some leftover cheddar cheese for the boys. That's what I'm going to use. But if you have a proper mozzarella, use that. And then for them, I'll sprinkle with some Parmesan cheese. Oh, I meant to get this chicken. So this is cheddar cheese. I think this came in one of the giveaway bags. If it's not enough, then I have some, excuse me, buffalo mozzarella of mine that I'll put on there for them. All right, so we got our cheese, please. 
we got red onion, we got mushroom, we got cilantro, and um, let's get the chicken. I'm just gonna put this in a container with some barbecue sauce. We're gonna pretend like it's marinated and all of that. It's not, it's just canned chicken breast, but it has been in kind of like a brine, so it's got a little bit of flavor, but you could jazz it up if you wanted to. Groceries are expensive. Get in there. All right. Let's see if that's big enough. So I'm just going to pop the top. This came from Walmart, and I think it came in a four-pack. But you can buy cans of chicken breast, white meat chicken. It's great protein to snack on. Um, that's what I eat now. I'm pretty much sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. Uh, so I snack on protein as opposed to chips and stuff like I used to. So I'm just going to drain this. All right. So we've got some chunk chicken breast here. I'm just going to put it in a container. Hopefully this is big enough. And then I'm just going to pour the barbecue sauce on it and shake it up. Did I say I'm not a proper chef? So we've got big chunks of chicken. If you wanted this smaller, you could get two forks and kind of break it up if you want to. But y'all know the gong gongs, they'll eat everything. So I got a little bit of this barbecue sauce left. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the chicken. Probably should have done this first so it could have had a little bit of a marinade. Ah, Diana's telling us the sofrito has cilantro, onions, green peppers, small rounded sweet peppers. What is the proper name? I might know what you're talking about. Garlic and is it reaco, which is not easy to find in the States. I've never heard of that before. Please educate us. All right, so I just put it in here and I'm just going to shake. Probably should have gotten a bigger container. Just to kind of distribute the barbecue sauce amongst the chicken. Not really appetizing, but let's see what we can make in a pizza. All right. So let me clean up. And I think we're ready to assemble, but let me open the oven, empty it, and preheat it. If you all don't use your oven for storage, one moment, please. Honestly, if it were just me, I wouldn't have to, but I have special dishes just for our struggle cooking class that I don't want the boys to use. And since I've taught them how to cook, they get the, um, I'm not going to call them slave pots, but the pots that have been worn in. hate to use it. Our oven is so beautiful, so grateful for new appliances. But um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on. Let's say 400. With these recipes, with pizza, everything pretty much is done. I mean, it's cooked. You just want to get the cheese bubbly and brown, right? Still gotta get used to it. Our oven, it bakes, it does bread, it air fries, convection. I'll get to the manual, a manual. I'll get to the manual one of these days. All right, so let's make two versions of the. I really could just make all four, but just in case anybody's like, I don't like that, we're gonna do a regular version too. So let me get pepperoni and tomato sauce, pizza sauce. So I got turkey pepperoni.
I think I bought some actual pizza sauce, but I've got some leftover spaghetti sauce, uh, just a little bit in the jar, down to the bottom of the barrel, bottom of the bottle. Uh, so we're just going to use that up. Again, since I'm traveling, I'm just throwing together what I have so I don't have groceries go bad. All right, so let's assemble. And again, this is something kids could help with. It would be lots of fun. Um, let everybody make their own pizzas. We used to do this, you know, when the kids would have friends over for play dates. I'm way past those years, but I do remember them fondly. Just putting some more barbecue sauce on that. And let me just stir it up a little bit. Stir it up, little darling, stir it up. Yeah, I'm on. Our travel agent knows about Jamaica. But this could be any leftover chicken. This could be chicken, you know, your Tyson chicken uh, breast strips. This is canned chicken for me. It could be rotisserie chicken. Just use what you have, y'all. And I just put a little barbecue sauce on it so it has some of the flavor. All right. So for the first ones, we're going to do two barbecue chicken versions and we're gonna do two regular and then we're gonna bake them all together. And while they're baking, I'll get some apples and see how the boys like that new um, non-dairy cream cheese. I like it, but we'll see what they say. All right, so I have some more of the barbecue sauce. I'm just going to put a little dollop in the middle. This could be Sweet Baby Ray's. It could be Heinz. It could be whatever thick barbecue sauce of your choice. So for the California Pizza Kitchen copycat version, it's a barbecue sauce base. So I'm just going to get a spoon. Well, I'll just use the chicken spoon since it's got barbecue sauce on it. And you want to kind of go towards the edge. I wonder if I should have put some olive oil on there. I'll do some on the other one. So I'm just kind of giving myself a little bit of a crust with the barbecue sauce. If you like it more saucy, add some more. You know, that's good. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. That one looks a little bit sparse. <laughs> Dirty Diana singing with me. Y'all, I don't even mean to do that, but it's like I hear a lyric and I just can't help myself. I just, you know, break out into song. So I wish we didn't have like that YouTube, like copyright strike, you know, like if you play somebody else's content, but you know, I understand we want to respect all creators. Um, so yeah, I'd have a whole soundtrack for y'all. Okay, so we have two. I know y'all like the close up. So this is the flatbread, just regular flatbread. When it gets hot, it kind of bubbles and browns. Oh, it's so good. So we have two that we've just put barbecue sauce on first. And then I'm going to go in with some cheese. It could be whatever melting cheese of your choice. This is cheddar. It's probably not the real copycat version, but it's what I got. It could be mozzarella. It could be, um, <laughs> look who's here, y'all. We haven't seen Snuggles in a while. Snuggles, you missed it. I did drop the link. But you know what? Just for you, because we know Snuggles is going to make an appearance on my show. <laughs> All right, shout out to Snuggles. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we put some cheese on top of the barbecue sauce. I know it sounds weird. And then we're gonna go in with the chicken. This is actually a lot of chicken for two little mini pizzas, but we'll make it work. The boys will eat it. Look at this big old chunk. Let me see if I can get some smaller ones for bite-sized pieces. And I'll just go kind of heavy on the chicken. And again, this was just canned chicken breast and it's, uh, kind of sitting in some barbecue sauce. If you look at the California Pizza Kitchen version, you know it's more like little strips of chicken. <laughs> but this is what I got. All right, so we'll kind of spread that out to the end, to the edges. I don't know, y'all. Should I make all... I don't want to hear from anybody who doesn't like it, so we'll do two of the regular. All right, so pretty heavy with the chicken breast, and this is just canned chicken breast. 
It can be whatever you have. So this is what I put on right now. It's looking like a little barbecue sandwich. <laughs> Thank you so much. I see you behind the scenes. Thank you so much, Snuggles. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Um, okay, and then we're gonna do red onion. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So we got our red onion slivers. I like onion, but not everybody does. So we'll just do a little, you know, light garnish. But funnily enough, with the sweetness of the barbecue sauce, um, like the, the onion, because it's like a milder onion, it's not too, too pungent. Believe me, y'all, it pairs so well. All right, so now we have red onion on top of barbecue chicken, on top of cheese, on top of barbecue sauce. And then I am gonna put a little bit of cilantro on top when we bake it. Now, whenever you put fresh herbs in the onion, they will kind of get like a darker green and almost like burnt grass, but we'll put some more on there um, when it comes out. All right. And I almost want to put some more cheese on there. I think I will. Uh-oh, did I lose my, I don't know if y'all can see. Oh dear, did my camera go out? <sighs> Let's see. I have a black screen. I don't want to mess with it. If y'all can still see, let me know you can still see. I see me. I don't see the overhead. Excuse me, and I know we're on a little bit of a delay. So before I start messing with anything, oh, I took it down. Let me know if y'all can actually see the pizzas and I'll keep going. That is so weird. Um, but let's see, what else is going on? Relatively quiet night. I may or may not have threatened them within one inch of their life. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, I want to keep going, but I want you guys to be able to see. So, that is so weird. It's out. Okay, thank you, Diana. One second, y'all. Let's get this fixed. Did it die? Nope. I don't know what happened. All right, here we go. Let's see that y'all can see now. All right, perfect. Y'all know it's just me and these uh, struggle cell phone and struggle iPad. Okay, so what we have is our flatbread, cheese, barbecue chicken, eh, um, cilantro and red onion. And just so that it's ooey gooey, I'm gonna put another little layer of melting cheese over everything. So that's gonna be the California pizza copycat version. And we'll see what the boys have to say about that. Okay, so this is before it goes in the oven so you all can see. And I actually had more ingredients than I thought, but we're gonna do two regular pizzas on the flatbread. So whenever I'm doing like the Italian version, um, if you have real pizza crust, and again, this is just non-flatbread, but I'm gonna brush it with a little bit of oil, a little bit of olive oil and the high heat gives it kind of like that if you've ever had a proper like Italian or New York pizza, you know how it's kind of crispy. <sighs> Thank you, Diana. All right, so let me get some oil. Now, ideally this would be like a really good quality olive oil, which I don't have, but I have grapeseed oil. Just roll with me. This is what I got. It might be in the pantry somewhere. And this is completely optional, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a dollop on each slice. And then I'm just going to brush with my pink brush. I don't know who said they wanted a pink brush too. I actually might have something for you, but we're just gonna kind of go around and brush the oil. Imagine this is good quality olive oil. And again, this is completely optional, but it does give it that nice like crispy outside. 
and then um, it's like uh, chewy and doughy on the inside. Mona's here for the color of the pizzas. Thank you. My mom said that um, your plate should have at least three colors. So that's what I try to do. All right. And then I'm going to put some Italian seasoning on here as well. If you have a good pizza sauce, this is optional, you guys. You don't really need it, but I just like the look of it. This is just Walmart Italian seasoning. You can see it's got a whole bunch of good stuff in there, mainly uh, oregano, basil, and... Our oven has re... You done? Our oven sings when it reaches temperature. All right, so perfect timing. So this is completely optional, but if you just like a little bit extra, I just put some Italian seasoning directly on to the flatbread. You can toast it or bake it just like this. If you just like a good savory, like pull apart bread, this is excellent. But let's go ahead and make it like a pizza. So I have some pretty good sauce. Now this is pasta sauce. Like Mona told us, it's a little bit runnier. If you have actual pizza sauce, it would be thick and chunky because we like it thick and we like it chunky. Not me <laughs> trying to get the rest of this weight off. I am down 80 pounds with 20 more to go, but um, you can use leftover spaghetti sauce. Use whatever you have, y'all. All right, let me just get a towel. Anytime you're cooking Italian dishes, I love tomato sauce, but it gets everywhere. All right, we're just gonna smooth this out to the edges. All right. Just using the back of a spoon to kind of get our tomato sauce all the way to the edge. So this is what we have so far, just flat bread, a little oil, a little Italian seasoning, and um, pasta sauce. All right, so let's go in with the cheese that I have, which is cheddar. I know it's not authentic. This is what I got. Bet you the gong gongs will eat it anyway. <laughs> hey, Vel, good evening, my dear. Thank you for coming to class. Good to see you. Hope everybody is doing well. I don't know how you all like your pizzas. Let me know if anybody's ever had the um, California Pizza Kitchen um, barbecue pizza. It is their signature and it sounds kind of weird, but once you taste it, it's like oh, so good. All right. So we just put a little bit of cheese on top of the pizza sauce. Now we're going to go in with the pepperoni. This is turkey pepperoni. It could be salami. It could be beef, pork, whatever you eat. All right. So we're just going to go in. Y'all have seen me do this a hundred times and I'll do it a hundred more for you. All right, so we just get pizza pepperoni all over it and then do the other one. Pizza, pizza. All right, and then we're gonna go in with some mushroom. So this is what we have so far. And this was just canned mushroom. That's what I got. If you have fresh, use that. The boys both like mushrooms, so we'll do plenty of mushroom. Plus, pizza is a great way to get uh, veggies in. You know, if you have picky eaters, use the vehicle that they like, pizza. You know, I'm not going to force anybody to eat anything, but, you know, definitely have them try different things. When I used to take the boys to Subway, when we used to go out, now... I don't because they act like fools. Um, I would tell them, you know, you can get whatever you like as long as you pick two vegetables. So you could get cucumber and spinach or whatever sub you wanted, but you had to get two vegetables. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more cheese on the top and just use it all up till you use me up. Do, 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 do. There's a song. I don't know. That's all I got. All right. Oh, you just keep on using me until you use me up. Sorry, y'all. Okay, 
So we have four pizzas for the boys. We have a pepperoni and mushroom, and we have our California pizza copycat. And I'll just put a little bit more Italian seasoning on here. We'll put some Parmesan on it when it comes out. So one sweet, one savory. All right. So let's bake these, I'd say maybe 10 minutes until they're like bubbly and brown. Oldie but goodie. Oh, Val, I heard the green onions. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> I looked it up after you mentioned it. All right, let's put this in the oven class. <clears throat> Let's do a timer just in case. I don't think I need one, but I never think I need one. And then stuff gets burnt. All right. So we have plenty of toppings left over. You can, oh, there you are. We have plenty of toppings left over. Mona almost leaped through the screen. So you guys vote. I want to know if you like the barbecue chicken pizza, then find the chicken emoji or drumstick emoji and put that in the chat. If you like the traditional pepperoni and mushroom pizza, I think there's a pizza emoji. Put that one in the chat. I want to know if y'all are team BBQ or team pepperoni. All right. So let's clean up so we can plate for the boys. Yeah, Grandma loves that song. It is a good song. And you were right. I knew it as soon as I heard it. All right. So let's put our ingredients away. Pizza will just uh, warm up and I'm gonna put a fruit on the side, make sure they eat something. All right. I'll just keep the cilantro just in case you want a little bit extra. Probably could put the red onion away. I'll make that in the morning. And we got extra barbecue chicken. Mona's here for both of them. Mona says, give it all to me. Okay, Belle wants the barbecue chicken pizza. You got it, my dear. All right. Let's see. So nice having you all here. Thank you. See what happens when I don't take away their devices. That's my conundrum, right? All of us parents, we go through the same thing. Do you want peace? We have a new stream sponsor. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Friendsgiving. You love CPK. I don't know if you saw, we got them in the oven. Let me take this down for one second so you can see. We've got them in the oven. Um, and I'm gonna get a fruit on the side for the boys, but Friendsgiving, I have to say, first of all, Chelsea for the 99 cents, Diana for the $25. Um, actually, wait a second. Yes, Diana for the $20, Kevin for the $20, and now Friendsgiving for the $25. I'm gonna update the Struggle Stream microwave board for our class, but um, Friendsgiving made a comment on yesterday's stream, and I have to be honest with you all, I really want this to be a good experience, and I try to be so elegant for you, but these kids, and I was incredibly embarrassed by what happened yesterday, but Mona made a sweet little comment, and Friendsgiving made a comment that you all actually enjoyed, and um, you know, I guess it makes me relatable. <laughs> But uh, thank you so much for continuing to come back because there's so many times that I'm like, why do they watch this? It's a dumpster fire. Ah, oh, Diana says she wants, what do you want on your pizza? Diana wants mushroom, onion, peppers, garlic. Is this a sofrito? Ah, oh, but thank you, Friendsgiving. Let me update the board for you. All right, let me get my dry erase microfiber. What kind of class is this, y'all? So janky. All right, 
I'll get in there and get it all up. But Friendsgiving is now the stream sponsor. Friendsgiving says we love the kids. I'm glad you do because I got two for sale. Buy one, get one free or take one, take one free. Richard is here with the watching eyes, watching eyes. He's watching us. We see your watching eyes. Thank you for being here, Richard. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Let's get our struggle marker. Thank you so much. Friendsgiving is now the stream sponsor at $25. I appreciate you so much. Mona says your kids put you through it too. Y'all can understand. Can you imagine, like, this is really me at home. Welcome to my home. This is not a kitchen studio. This is not a proper cooking class. But y'all keep coming back, so I appreciate it so much. Thank you, Friendsgiving, and thank you all for being here. You can watch. You can subscribe. You can like. You can share. You can comment. And I look at all of it, and it means so much to me. But when you go above and beyond like that, I tell you, and again, in case anybody just joined, just got monetized on Facebook. So if you ever want to watch my streams on Facebook, now you can send me stars. Apparently I have a star. I don't know how to get it, but I'm very, very grateful. So thank you. Who's coming in like snuggles? Hope Richard coming in like snuggles. Okay, our pizzas are sizzling in there. Hi, Dee Dee, thank you for being here. Let's clean off the counter and we're gonna just cut up an apple for the boys. Like I said, you guys, I'm just throwing together what I have. I'll be out of town next week, but I will be streaming from a new location for you guys. Um, and I don't wanna do groceries that are gonna sit here. So we're just gonna be making it up between now and Monday. Friendsgiving says stars for a star. Congrats, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all, it's just me. I'm just like y'all crazy taking it one day at a time, but I'm glad you see me as a star. So thank you. I don't have a dress on, but you get the curtsy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's clean the counters. I'm going to be using my brandless granite cleaner. I do have a discount code for you guys. Link is in the class notes. This is one of those refillable ones. It gets the concentrate. You get the bottle one time. I don't know, maybe like $5. But um, Brandless products, my code is Maggie10, and it gives you 10% off, and I use Brandless stuff all the time. We did a review on them. I don't think my sound was good, but we did. Thank you, Dee Dee. Yeah, you guys, check us out. We're growing. We are growing. All right. The whole thing with Facebook, and I don't know if anybody has a YouTube channel that's also monetized on Facebook, but YouTube has a very clear like program of what you need to do to get monetized. And you know, I'm a student of the lead attorney, proud student of lead attorney. I'll see a lot of y'all in the mastermind tonight. So we're very clear on how it works on YouTube, but I opened up Facebook today and it says, you are now eligible um, to get monetized. I'm like, ah, what did I do? But I've just been casting a wide net because you never know where people can find you. So thank you all for being here. All right, so I put some apples Okay, little rant. I had two brothers, not mine, but y'all know I'm also an Airbnb hostess. Maggie wears many hats, and so I have a mother-in-law suite in my home that I rent out. Uh, so I'm turning it over because I had two brothers that were uh, here, meaning young men that were here renting out the room. And I put some fruit, like fresh fruit, in the basket of, you know, I put bottled water and, you know, stuff like that, just light snacks for them. And the fruit is still there and I saw some honey buns. I'm not judging. I'm not the food police, but I don't want the apples to go bad. So I'm gonna go grab the apples from the, uh, uh, from the guest suite and we're gonna cut those up. All right, so one second, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right back.
So again, we're gonna wash these. Oh, we're gonna wash these and cut them up and serve them with the boys. I'm gonna let them try my new vegan cream cheese and I'll put some peanut butter on the side too. But um, I've been really enjoying this Vio Life. We did the taste test. Um, since I have to be dairy free, I picked this up, I think at Whole Foods. I don't really like Granny Smith because they're tart, but with this cream cheese, I think it pairs very nicely. Let me wash these. How you like them apples? Sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> oh, our timer is done, y'all. That didn't take long at all. Let's see how our pizzas look. Shoot, daggum oven. I'm coming, I'm coming. Now, I think I might have put too much sauce on the barbecue chicken, but they're nice and sizzly. Let me just, oh, they feel so good. Um, let me turn this off. All right, so pizzas are good. I don't know, you guys think they're good or a little bit more brown? Oh, they're good and they move so nicely on the parchment. All right, so I'm just gonna put them Hmm. All right, we'll just leave them here. I'm going to cut the, um, yeah, it's good. I'm going to cut the apple really quick and then we'll serve the gong gongs and uh, Friendsgiving, you're just in time. You're your favorite ones, I'll call them down. Just like in The Lion King, where Simba was minding his business and then a herd, a wildebeest came, that's what you will hear. But here are our pizzas, California Pizza Kitchen. Um, okay, Mona and um, pepperoni and mushroom. All right, so Belle says, how many pages am I up to for the cookbook, y'all? I know this cookbook, I started it. I really just need to do something. Oh, hope they love them. Whew, you and me both. Um, I think I'm just gonna do, I gotta, I gotta do something. My plan is to get this cookbook done by Black Friday. It'll be an ebook, but. Have so many recipes. I don't know, maybe I should do a poll of what you guys want to see, but I think I should just categorize them into like, you know, like my sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free stuff. Um, family meals, kids meals. So, you know, I'll save one apple. I'm not going to waste a whole one on them. I want to get them their food while it's hot. All right. One day they'll appreciate it. When they're eating ramen in the dorm somewhere, right? Okay, so let's get this plated for the boys. want to do it's fine I think I want to do like the cutting board y'all know me in my presentation something a little bit rustic okay so we have two cutting boards Y'all know I used to work for Coke, so I got all this Coke swag. 
Um, let's get their pizzas on here. A little bit messy. I was a little extra with the toppings, but we got those nice crispy edges. All right. So everybody gets one. See when they have their devices and nobody's circling until I sound the all call. Barbecue chicken, nice and cheesy. Looks good. All right, a few kitchen snacks. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. All right. I don't even know if I want to give them my. put a little, like a schmear. Looks good. A schmear of the cream cheese on there so they can try. Boys. Hmm. I'm moving fast. I know the herd is coming. Now I got some Parmesan on here. I'll put a little bit of Parmesan on the regular pizza. You could do fresh basil. We could do a little extra cilantro. All right, let me just take a quick picture and I'm gonna go get them. Pictures go up on the community tab, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Dinner for the boys. Take several pictures from different angles. You never know which one is gonna be the right one. Some with the flash, some without. All right. All right, so stand back. I'm going to go get the gong gongs, but just so you guys can see. So we had our Italian pizza, our barbecue chicken pizza. Hey, clout chasing, did it get stuck? All right, y'all, hopefully it'll reset. Thank you so much for being here. All right, I'm nervous, y'all. I'm gonna come through. I'm not responsible. Okay, I am responsible. I'm the adult in the house, but let me just, okay, here we go. Let me go get the boys. happening here all right you want to introduce yourself um i'm hungry 
All right, pick what one is regular pizza, barbecue. Um, no, sorry. I'm gonna get this. One is um, pepperoni and mushroom, and one is California Pizza Kitchen copycat. Whatever that means. Uh, we're trying to go with the onions. Yeah, red onion, cilantro. There's no cheese on it. No, I did put cheese on it. Oh. I just didn't have the mozzarella cheese. Well, tastes good. Tastes good? Cilantro helps. You uh, want some extra? I like the onion. Okay. You want to try? Let them know. You want to introduce yourself? All right. So Marcus likes the uh, barbecue chicken pizza. All right. Uh, Alex is eating the apples. Do you want to try the barbecue chicken? Where did the chicken from? The chicken came from a can. Chicken's not come from cans. You're welcome. Oh, you want to try the regular? So Alex is going in for the, um, all right, you can step aside, please. <laughs> Alex is going in for the regular. You've had that in multiple. Really? There's not enough room for all of us. Okay. All right, you got it. Do you want to give any feedback? How is it? Oh, no. All right. I'll I, get that. You want to take your, um, your board? The great I, tasters? I kind of fell apart. Yeah, I put a lot of toppings on there. You probably need a spoon to eat up the rest. But you can go. I'm glad you like the barbecue chicken. Oh, we got a mess. Mm. You have nothing to say? That's really good. It's good? They like it's it. It's sweet. Barbecue sauce. So that one had barbecue sauce instead of um, green apple. Oh, I wanted you to try the cream cheese. Let me know what you think about the cream cheese on the apple. Oh. Mm hmm Alex, can you try the, the cream cheese on the apple? <laughs> Belle's giving the hand claps. Which one did you have? Yeah. Um, How do you like the cream cheese? It tastes like cream cheese on apples. All right, well, what if I told you it was vegan? Diana says, wash hands. Did anybody wash hands? I know, right? Friendsgiving says kids- I don't get sick. I'm immune to all diseases. But that's just good habit in the kitchen, Marcus. You wanna be, um... Um, did you try the cream cheese? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? It's okay. okay. I don't really like cream cheese on a lot of things, except for bagels. What if I told you it was vegan? It's like, I need to be lying. No, it's made from co- watch your feet. There's no way that's vegan. It is vegan. Look, it's made from coconut milk instead of regular milk. See? It's, it's too creamy. It's too creamy. Um, Mona's looking. Diana says it's the best cream cheese. Excuse me. Alex is doing cream cheese and honey or syrup on his board. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try the normal. You gonna try the regular cheese. pizza? Is this cheddar cheese? Yeah, this is the only cheese that I had because I'm not doing groceries. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, how's the regular pizza? No, I don't like it as much as the other one. Really? You like the barbecue chicken better? Yeah. Cheddar's not my favorite cheese anyway, but. What is your favorite cheese? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. You know, that's my sugar-free caramel sauce. I actually had that today. So those of you all who have asked, really? Those of you all who have asked if the boys like my substitutes, like if I have Philadelphia cream cheese, I'll have it. But I have the uh, BioLife, the vegan cream cheese. They're eating it. It wasn't my favorite. It wasn't your favorite? Okay, Mona says hello. Diana says, great job, mom. Thank, Thank you. you. I tried. 
Okay, Alex is gonna try the barbecue pizza. Whoa. Yep. Mm. Yum. Is that a good? Mm. Mm. You like? <sighs> okay. Hi, well, Mona. Hi. Well, I think the CPK copycat, have either of y'all ever been to California Pizza Kitchen? Because I've never taken you. If you've never taken us, why have we ever gone? Well, I don't know. Maybe your dad took you. Maybe. You think dad's taking us to California, wherever you said? California Pizza Kitchen, yeah. Really? Well, I just wondered if you've ever been. That's their signature pizza. It is a pizza crust with barbecue sauce, cheese, chicken. Mm -hmm. You all right? Wow. You don't have to eat it all like that. You just... Inhaled it. Okay, you can take your um tray. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. <sighs> so I'll drop the link one more time, but that's all I was doing, y'all. Just dinner for the kids. I don't know if anybody has any questions. I've already eaten, I had a protein shake, so I'm just feeding the boys. I'll drop the link one more time. Marcus wants to show you something it looks like. What do you what do you got? I just put all the stuff that fell off. Oh, you can bring it oh. back right there. Oh <laughs> on the apple slice. Uh. On an apple. So, for those of you all who have kids who they probably wouldn't eat an apple by themselves. I know my no. eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Alex gave me a rating. Thank you for the unsolicited rating. Mm. Um, can you scrape your uh, tray and put it in the sink, please? I think because like cilantro is really overpowering and a lot of. Um, Whatever. Just like grass dishes, but and this one's actually worked well. Oh, that's nice. I agree. You got anything to drink? There's water. Oh, water isn't fun. Oh, I'm not here for Can I have a propel? Uh, no, those no. are for swim. All right. If you're done with this, you can throw your trash away. You don't get Oh, Mona makes apple nachos for the kids. I've never heard of that. What are apple hey. nachos? Hey. Obstacle abortion. You can go upstairs. And Marcus, I need you to clean up. What are apple nachos? I've never heard of that. They're nachos made out of apples. Apples on nachos? So, ah. I don't know. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and wrap up with the commercial. Give you guys a couple minutes. Uh, what's going on here? Can, are you done? Are you going to eat this one or trash it? Uh, yeah. You like the flatbread? Flatbread. Too much food. Too much? Okay. We well, should show them your signature you... butter on flatbread recipe. He's destroying the pizza, but he's eating it his way. He's just taking the crust off. That's how naan is usually eaten. Just we should show them your signature. Really? We should show them your signature. Like that? Mom, you should show them your signature flat bread. Sorry. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Can you take your plate out of the way? Good night. Good night. Hey, I'll see you later. Okay. It's pretty good stuff. All right, can you move, please? It smells good, too. Well, ah. Whatever these are called. But yeah, so the barbecue chicken pizza is a hit. Um, you know, if you have picky kids that don't usually eat vegetables, um, put it on the stuff that they do like. So Mona says your apple nachos are apple slices with melted butter. Oh, melted wow butter. What's wow butter? I've never heard of that. Chocolate chips, caramel, and sprinkles. Isn't wow butter like peanut butter for people who can't eat peanuts? I don't know. Maybe. I think it because I saw that at school. Oh, okay. You have to be nut free at school. Yeah. Yeah. You can leave now. Right. Let me fix this. Boy, you are 15. Yeah. Well, yeah. At 15. That's right. pretty good, right? You say? Good enough, right? All right. What are you, what are you doing behind me? What's now? Yeah, swim is I need you to move. Fine. Thank you. Turn your trash away. Thank you. Bye, Mom. Bye.
That was pretty good. It was pretty good? You're welcome. <sighs> Nut-free butter. Chocolate solution, yes, once again. Once again. So I just wanted to come on and do a quick little dinner for you guys. We'll wrap up with the commercial. Ah, 10 plus sounds is a banner is ready. Y'all, y'all have to check out 10 plus sounds. You know what? Why don't we pull it up and let's see what he designed for me. Victoria says, boys will be boys. I'm going to give you guys a commercial. We're going to wrap up. Those of y'all who are going to be in the mastermind, I will see you there. But I have to shout out 10 plus sounds. He has been helping me with the beautiful artwork. Y'all know I'm not. Really? Oh, okay. You know what? Are you done? I'm bored. You're bored. I'm not bored. Do I need to come to that room? Touch it one more time. Do it again. <laughs> we were doing so well. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let me clean the counter. But what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, then we'll let you guys have your evening. I want to make sure I give you your what did Wilbert say yesterday? Tell the boys to leave us alone. We want our Maggie time. I want to make sure I give you guys your Maggie time. Oh. Act up if you want to. There could be a throwing, a thrown shoe or comb in your future. But anyway, <sighs> oh, you're here for the random outbursts of dancing? Yeah, I didn't eat anything tonight, so I didn't give you guys a happy dance. Um, I know I'm going to eat everything in Philly next week, um, y'all. <laughs> uh, when you're traveling for work and it's... Mm. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just trying to be mindful today. But yeah, pizzas were a hit. Uh, flatbread pizzas. Um, if you don't have pizza crust, just wanted to give you guys an option on how you can make pizza for yourself or for the kids. That's right, friends, giving you here for the foolishness every time. That's why I like to cook when they are not with me, but their dad is out of town this weekend and I'm out of town next weekend. So we swapped. So the boys are with me. And then when I'm gone, they'll be with their dad. So I was, um, Shouting out 10 plus sounds. I'm very excited. I'm going to look this up right now, but you all know I just make the snacks. I'm not good at any of this stuff, but like my banner, this right here and you know, the artwork, if you guys need music, if you guys need, um, I don't know, channel art, I don't know what it's called, but, um, you know, there are lots of services out there, but I love to keep it in the community and 10 plus sounds is part of the lead attorney mastermind. And, I am a customer of his and, um, you know, because I'm starting some new services like the consultations and other stuff that I'm doing. Hi, cruising is for me. Thank you for being here. Hello, heavy is the crown. Thank you for being here. We're wrapping up, but if you want to join us on Facebook or YouTube, um, you're welcome to the side by side is, oh no, I do have a side by side to show you. Um, but I am not good at the artwork. So please check out 10 plus sounds. That is the name of his channel. Um, he is, let's see, banner is ready. So let me open it up. We're going to reveal it out here, but what are we revealing? So again, like the artwork, like this stuff right here, this isn't 10 plus sounds, but like this stuff right here, <laughs> um, we know when you're building a channel and you want to have, you know, your brand, because if you're a student of lead attorney, we know that we're building a brand, right? With all of the stuff that we do, there's some stuff that I'm good at and there's some stuff I can't do that. So 10 plus sounds has excellent services. And I mentioned to him yesterday, um, I want to start like another channel where I do the non cooking stuff because I don't want to mess up my algorithm and um, I'll, I'll reveal it here. Since I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher, everything else that I do from the Airbnb, the relationship etiquette to the corporate uh, coaching, all of that is going to be my teachable moments with Maggie. So I'm sorry. I just think that's so funny. Um, so I was like, yeah, it's going to be kind of a hodgepodge of 
videos and I don't know, y'all, all next year, not anything now, but I'm thinking long term. So I asked 10 plus sounds to put something together for me and he has a banner for me. So let's log in and see what he made. I know I'm going to love it. Um, but yeah, let me give you guys the commercial as we're pulling this up. So thank you for being here. Maggie, the substitute teacher um, is eight months old. I was monetized in four months uh, because of you all. I got cilantro on my iPad because of you all. Um, thank you so, so much. Uh, if you're curious how you can get monetized on YouTube, I didn't even know that you could make income on YouTube. Now I found out I can make income on Facebook. I found uh, I got qualified for stars today. I did put together a course and I have a discount code for you guys. It's thanks TLA and it gets you $15 off. Regular price. Sorry, I'm not looking. I'm trying to find the um, content. Um, regular price is $50. It's two hours worth of content broken up over 15 different videos. You can uh, preview for free. Link is in the description. I go over my approach to getting the watch hours, my approach to getting um, subscribers, applying for the program. I gave you screenshots along the way of the emails that you'll receive and how it all works. And I sat down once I was monetized and I put it all out um, while it was still fresh. So if it's something that would be helpful to you or somebody else, then um, take a look. Or if you wanna join the Maggie membership, you get all of the raw footage for free. Mona says you love it. You love me chasing the gong gongs. I don't know what you love, but y'all already know. Okay. Oh, 10 plus sounds. I hope it's okay that I share. Ooh. <laughs> look at this. I look so sick. Ah, he cartoonized me. Teachable moments with Maggie. He gave me two of them. <laughs> Y'all, I make the silliest faces. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's that one. And then there's the blue one. So more stuff is coming. I probably will do another picture without the apron. So um, 10 plus sounds. I think this picture of me uh, is good for the Maggie, the substitute teacher, but I do like the background. I think what I'll do is I'll just send you another picture if it's okay. The one of me in the pearls, the one that's like my um, other profiles, and we'll see if that looks a little bit more like I can coach on something, but thank you. All things are coming. All things are coming. Hey, Lauren, we're wrapping up, but good to see you, my neighbor. So what's coming? All right. A little housekeeping announcements, and then we are going to go. Um, I stream every day. What am I making tomorrow? I don't know. When am I making it? I don't know. But if you subscribe and if you have notifications turned on, hopefully you're notified. Um, most of the time I'm cooking, but sometimes we sit down and have a chat. Speaking of chats, uh, I've already scheduled my metabolic specialist is coming uh, on my birthday, November 29th. Uh, it'll be my birthday, but you all get the gift. Uh, you wanted to know about my food sensitivity test and the hair samples and the cheek swab and the list of foods and inflammation. Nancy Masood will be with us from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern, and that's a Tuesday afternoon. She will be here to answer all the questions. I'm down 80 pounds with 20 more to go. Yes, does look great, doesn't it? Yes, thank you. So this is how we work, you know, when you have a, an amazing freelance artist like 10 plus sounds, he'll give you some things and you give him feedback and y'all, he just knocks it out of the park. So I am so incredibly uh, grateful and happy to support because it allows me to focus on what I try to do, which is the cooking. Um, so that's November 29th. And then on December 9th, we have a celebrity chef coming. I'm so excited. Jazz Leaf, who is a nutritionist who uh, was a private chef for some NBA players on the Indiana Pacers. I made one of her recipes and tagged her and she inboxed me. So I asked for a collab and she said, absolutely. I could pick any of her recipes. She is going to come here live and um, on screen and she's gonna walk me through cooking one of her recipes. I think we'll do a salmon or something like that. Yes, everybody say thank you. 10 plus sounds, if y'all like it, uh, give him the feedback. I love to support the community. Um, so December 9th, and that is a Friday and it will be 1 p.m. 
Eastern. So she will coach me as I cook lunch. Um, let's see what else. We're going to get our winter watch parties. I just need to get the kids. <laughs> Y'all will need me for a good uninterrupted two hours. We'll do some movies. We'll watch the movies together and then I'll cook the signature dish from the movie after. Cookbook is coming. I think I'm just going to start with like 10 or 12 recipes and just get the first one out the door. Um, I'm also going to be doing e-learnings, all the hats that I wear. In addition to the cooking, I'm a Spelman grad. I have a degree in chemistry. I have an MBA. I have two IT certifications. I'm a former executive with the Coca-Cola company. Uh, I'm a mom, but I cannot help you with parenting advice because that is a struggle for me too. Um, but if you want to pick my brain on any of the stuff that I've um, worked on in my career, uh, or I'm an Airbnb host, super host, five star for six years. Um, I also have done a lot of personal development, moving from, you know, more of a traditional modern marriage to, I mean, from a modern marriage to a traditional relationship and everything that that takes. And I love to help and coach and teach since I don't have daughters and I don't have sisters. Um, if you'd like a private one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, you can book it. Link is in the description. 30 minutes for $30 or an hour for $50 if I can help you in any way. And I think that's all the announcements, y'all. I'm going to clean up and get a beverage and sit down and get ready for the mastermind. But I'm so glad that you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. Pizzas were a hit. The boys actually like the barbecue chicken pizza. So give it a try. Um, the ingredients work well together. Get your red onion and your cilantro, your chicken and your barbecue sauce. I think that's it. And 10 plus, thank you so much. Thank you to the stream sponsor, Friendsgiving, for the $25 Super Chat co-sponsors, um, Dirty Diana and Kevin Brooks for the $20 Super Chats, and to Chelsea for the 99 cents on Facebook now that I can receive stars. I'm so, so thankful. So Instagram class is dismissed. Thank you all so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Whatever we do, we'll figure it out. Y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. Facebook, 